and then now Rachel or Rael, and then Benson. So I want to welcome you all to our today's class. And I want to congratulate you, but I've promised Wellington. Wellington will have a, a, a present from me because I'm a Sunday school teacher. Na mwenye anaingia kwanza, anapata sawadi. Najua number two ni chain, so nitaona kama number two. Lakini sana sana number one, chuali join kapsa. Very early enough. So this time I want us to start off and uh, we will have uh, is it Rail or Rejo? Rail from Hilivi. Linton, welcome. Rail, please open with a word of prayer. Yeah, open with a word of prayer. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. We give you thanks. We give you worship. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Indeed, it's the day that you have made. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining us, Lord Father. As we are going to begin our class, Lord Father, how we pray that, Lord, we welcome you in your class, for Lord. Also pray, Lord, give us the understanding and the revelation of your word always. And also we help us to impart knowledge to others. In Jesus' name, I believe and pray. Amen. 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 So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. So Clinton, how are you Clinton? Yeah. yeah, I was just saying you have given, you, you give us two minutes at least, uh, others <laughs> come in class. No, but you are already six. Yeah, but, but anyway, I know you always tell me that uh, you start, but you start. But you are already six. That, that's okay. You Bishop, you are already <laughs> six, but I'll follow what you are saying. I'll, I'll follow what you are saying. That That's okay. That's okay. You, you proceed. So that <laughs> okay. you can Maybe we... No, no. I want us class. to... Susan is not yet. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so basically I want us maybe to have one person to recap what we learned last time in a few, in one or two minutes as we wait for the rest. So who can give us a, a summary of what we learned last time? Anyone? Just unmute. The first person to unmute. Just a few things which you learned. Anyone? Yeah, Benson? Last time, oh, had yeah, last time we were talking about the connection between the Old Testament and the New Testament. How they are related. We highlighted so many things about the New Testament. We said that the New Testament, if I can remember, is most of the things which happened in the New Testament were, talk, was, were prophesied in the Old Testament. So, Old Testament and New Testament need, but after Jesus was born, that is when the revealing of the process of salvation started, but it was also prophesied in the Old Testament. Okay, thank you, Benson. And you also named the books from Matthew to Revelation. So uh, I also see Rael. Rael, you can you wanted to say something, Rael? My take point was the it's about the new is concealed in the old. And that one it's meant that in the old testament, and what is happening right now then at the New Testament was there in the Old Testament, but it was not revealed the people during that time we are now seeing it but it was not the right time for it to be revealed in the old testament and also the second part is that the new the new the old is being revealed in the new it means that the prophecies that were said in the old testament we can see it being fulfilled in the new testament thank you Okay, thank you, Rael. So the last person maybe is Wellington. Wellington, you can share with us what you learned last time. What did we learn? Just one or two things. 
I'm sorry, I've just joined again. I was on. Yes, I, I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I, I, yes. I was on call. I've just joined now. Yes. What are you? So we are just recapping on what we learned last time. Ah. Yeah, I just mentioned one or two things which we learned last time. Ah. Hey, you, you, you found me off guard. Let me, let me catch up first. <laughs> Okay, one or two things. Yes, I will, I will, but just maybe for five minutes, like, and then come back. Okay, basically, let me let me just call an overview of what we learned, because uh, I know I want to respect Clinton. You know, he's professionally a teacher. Me, I'm not a teacher. Me, I'm a doctor. So, basically, we did an introduction of the New Testament. You remember the one we were saying, and then we also did a background. You remember when we were saying the New Testament was written within 50 years, but the Old oh, Testament was written over a longer period of time. And yeah. then uh, I know you are remembering now. And then we um, are saying, um, you remember what you are now remembering, yeah? Mm -hmm. And Ryle has already told us that the new is in the old concealed and the old mm -hmm. is in the new revealed. So then we talked about the testamental period. And then mm. there were some things which we mentioned. And I remember us finishing with when we were saying uh, that this preparation was by God, that uh, mm. he used the Greek language. We were saying the, the lingua franca of that time. And then again, there was that preparation of the way, like they, they created very good roads. And, and, mm. and the Romans did not know, but God, was the one that the chief architect of that yeah so you mm. remember this one we were talking of the overview of the historical epist epistolary and and prophetic yeah so i think we will also mm. revise today on on this then yeah. benson mm. gave us the 27 books you remember yeah benson gave us 27 book he, he named one by one yes and he was helped by, I think, Jen or someone who mentioned yeah, two Jen, books. Yeah, Jen, Jen, Jen was helping. I, I, could, I could hear Jen helping him. Yeah, I remember. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah. And then now we yeah. say today we are starting the book of Matthew. Matthew. So the book of Matthew is, um, I know we've already waited for eight, min eight minutes, but personally I don't like waiting when people are in class. So, uh, mm. Matthew, Matthew, I, I, there's a video which I shared. I don't know who was able to watch so that uh, you can tell us, like, who wrote Matthew, how many chapters, you know, to talk you about Matthew. The, the yeah, group? Did, you, did you listen to the feed audio? The one I shared in WhatsApp? Personally, I didn't. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, let's get somebody who will listen to the audio. Because I was to put it here, but I said there's no need. Let people listen in, in WhatsApp. So who was able to listen to Matthew? Because I sent Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I even added the gospel, the, the book of Acts. And it is basically 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It's not even a long video. It's around 10 minutes. And then Matthew is divided into two. So do we have anyone who was able to, to listen? Silence means maybe we were not able to. So maybe if we get time, we will watch together. But uh, we want to say like, this is a summary again of what we had said, because the book of Matthew, you are able to get it from, it is in the history, it's the four gospels. And we classify yeah. them under under history. So when you talk of history books in the New Testament, we are able to get yeah. uh, the, that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then the Acts of Apostles. So yeah. and then now when you come to epistles, the one we were talking of, there's the Pauline that is pertaining to Paul, and then there's the general epistles. So when you get the Pauline letters. There are those ones he wrote when he was, that is China epistles, 
Likewise, Colossians, first and second Thessalonians, first and second Corinthians, and Romans, we call them Chani epistles. Maybe he wrote them when he was in a journey, but there are those ones he wrote when he was in prison. And the famous one is Philippians. Philippians is the famous book which he wrote in prison where he was saying, uh, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me uh, to, for me to live to, is for Christ. You know, he wrote that when he was in prison, actually. And Philemon, Colossians, Ephesians, and Philippians. Those ones, we call them the prison epistles. Now, when you are training pastors, you have to use these other first Timothy, Titus, and second Timothy. We call it pastoral epistles. So when I want to guide leaders in the church, or I've been told to share some seminars in the church, these are the people where you use the pastoral epistles. Mutu akitaka kukua bishop, ama akitaka kukua elder. So those are the people you, you, you get in first, second Timothy, and then Titus. And then again, there we have general epistles which are not written by Paul. Hebrew, <laughs> Hebrew is mainly addressed to the, we call it uh, Hebrew, which is Christian. And, and, and last time we said, so far, maybe you will tell us who, uh, who wrote Hebrew, but so far, we really don't know who wrote Hebrew. Maybe we have theories up on a pile, but which cannot lag anyway. And then we have James. So those ones, we call the Hebrew Christians. because They were addressed to the, to the Hebrew Christians. And then also there are those like who are addressed to the other general, general, like maybe to the church, first and second Peter, first, second, and third John, and then Jude. So all those are epistles. Now from there, you come to the visions, revelation, which is apocalypse. And this apocalypse is like towards the end, eschatology. And I know our, our, our director will give us one time, our, he, will, he, will, he will teach us eschatology. So this is like the general overview of for us to understand where do we get Matthew. So if I talk of Matthew, where do I get Matthew? I get Matthew in the four Gospels. And then in the four Gospels, again, the first three, we call it synoptic Gospels. Why we, do we call synoptic Gospels? Because uh, you are able to see the broad division down there that uh, the synoptic gospels stresses the humanity of Christ from the outward, heartly side. But now you find the fourth gospel, uh, which is which is uh, John, stresses the deity of Christ. So when you go up there, portrayal of the portrays, port Matthew portrays Jesus Christ as the prophesied king. That is the main the main portrayal of of Matthew. And then Mark portrays Jesus now as the obedient servant. And then Luke as the perfect man. Because Jesus is 100% man, 100% God. So John gives us now the divine, the divine, the divinity of Christ. But now you, can, you find in these words, there are prominent words, which like if it's an abstract, you, you find like the common words. Which words are we able to get? In Matthew, fulfilled. In Mark, straight away or immediately. Another one I can add you in Greek is uh, an. An. An is so common in, in Mark. K-A-I. That is Kai in, in, in Hebrew. So you, straight away. And then Luke, son of man. And then John is belief. This was written for you to believe. So the, the, those are the prominent words in, in, those, in, 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 in Matthew. That is fulfilled. Mark, straight away, Luke, son of man, John, believe. Now, what is the culture of the original reader? Because you have to consider, before I, I like, maybe I do an exegesis of a fast, I have to see who was, who, like Matthew was addressing to the Jews. And that's why you can find his genealogy is starting from Abraham. He did not go to, to, to Adam like Luke. Luke started from Adam, and then Matthew started with Abraham. And then you find the genealogy of, of Matthew. Sometimes maybe Utaesa Kunulisa, you might ask me why is it not like maybe resembling the one in, 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 in Luke. So Matthew addressed the Jewish, Jesus, son of Abraham, because he, that was the lineage of, of Joseph. But the one in Luke, the lineage in Luke is the lineage of Mary. So Kunamali Sina Kutana Pale Lagina Sina Defied Pale Kwa David. Pale kwa David, who was in a divide, to pale kwa in a fuata singina Solomon. So you will see the difference from, from David. So 
That is uh, in Matthew. And then Mark, he was addressing the, the Romans. That is the action, the genealogy. I, in fact, he even avoided the genealogy because Romans, sasa, ukimwambia Romans, who you are, Lisa, who you are, Lisa, who na mahana le, la kasa, kaina na kasa. Sasa, ta, yo, Romans could not understand that. But you see, Matthew, the, the Jews understood. And also, the Greek needed to trace their origin from Adam. So, look at to, to to say go back up to the son of adam son of god but now john also is avoiding it is not put any genealogy but he says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was there in the beginning all things were created without him nothing was made that was made and verse 14 he says and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld of his glory so jesus son of god that is there that is the theme of the, the, the original readers. He was addressing the church. That is John. Now, the outlook and the style of the writers. We know we know Matthew, more of is a teacher. Mark is a preacher. Uh, liter, 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 is it what? Litera? That, that pronunciation. Litera. But, uh, yeah? No, not literature. This is somebody who loves and likes literature. I know Clinton had to pronounce here. Yo. Liter, lit, literata, lit, something. That's somebody who loves literature. So that is Luke. And then John was a, a, a theologian. So the outstanding sections in Matthew is sermons, in Mark is miracles, in Luke, parables, in John, doctrines, and also the signs. And I will always ask you, next time I'll ask you, name the, the seven I am's in the book of, of John. If you doctrine, you will get a lot of it in, 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 in the gospel of John. So the prominent ideas in Matthew is the law. And then Mark puts the power, you know, immediately, immediately. Then Luke is mentioning about grace and then John, glory. We beheld of his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So that is John. So basically, this is an overview of, of you are able to understand why we are calling the synoptic. Synoptic because they they stress the humanity of Christ from the outward. That is that is what we, we, we are able to mention them. So uh, the order of um, Matthew. Okay, someone to read for us. Or even before we go there, uh, uh, Clinton, do you have something to add from what I've mentioned? Clinton? Clinton today is in automobile. Okay. So, can you read, read, read what you are seeing on the screen? Who is reading? Yeah, Matthew. Wellington. Author Matthew or Levi, a tax yeah. collector before called him. Recipient written to Jews, presenting Christ as the prophesied Messiah of the Old Testament. Date between 59 and uh, 70 AD. Keywords, fulfill 17 times. Kingdom of heaven, 32 times. Yeah, thank you, Wellington. So we are able to know that Matthew was written by Matthew. That is the Levi. Levi is basically the third born of, of Israel. You remember the first one was Reuben, and then Simeon, and then Levi is the third born, and then the fourth born was Judah. And Judah is the lineage of Jesus. Levi is the lineage of the Levites. So he was a tax collector, as we all know. But now there are things which, uh, okay, with the date of writing, I think last time I, I simplified. I like simplifying issues that just to say AD 45 to AD 95. Saika, that is around AD 45 to 95. All the New Testament, that was when it was written. So that now it becomes hard for you to keep cramming every book. But there are those ones you know which was written earlier than the others, like Mark was written earlier than the Gospel of John. 
So John was the one which was latest right, written, but the highest one which was written was Matthew. So you can see in the book of Matthew as it was written and it is fulfilled. So the word fulfilled is written 17 times and then the kingdom of heaven is 32 times because his address is written to the Jews. And the Jews, you have to mention the Holy Testament, whether you like it or not, you have to say it, it was written, it was written. So this one is what we are mentioning that Matthew, the key words is fulfilled and, and the kingdom of heaven. So when you have a question, please put in the chat box or you raise up your hand, I'm able to see. Then, uh, so we want to say the purpose, who is able to read the purposes of, of, of Matthew? Anyone? Just unmute and read. Sita ita mutu jina. Just unmute and read if you are okay. able to see. I'll, uh, yeah, Dr. Okay, Soma. I'll, I'll read. Pap of, pap, pap, the purposes, the first one is to prove that Jesus of Nazareth was the promised Messiah and King of Israel. Number two says to show how and why Jesus was rejected by Israel and what God's plan was after the rejection, after that rejection. Theme, the first coming and a rejection of the promised Messiah and King of Israel. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Harry. So basically you are able to know because he was addressing to the Jewish. So when I'm reading the book of Matthew, you have to have the, the, the Jewish in mind that Matthew was to prove that Jesus is the Messiah and he was rejected. So it is them like the Jewish who rejected. In Governor Skyang, a Jewish is, uh, if you say you are a Jew, ne, ne descendants of Judah. If you are a, a descendant of Judah, then you are a Jew. And then descendants of, of Jacob is Israelites. Like if we say Abraham, Abraham wasn't a, a Jew. And he wasn't an Israelite, he was a, an Hebrew. So all of them are Hebrews. But you find now, if you are descending from Jacob, that is Israelite. If you are descending from Judah, that's a Jew. But nowadays, I remember I met one in Uganda. I met one of, of the Israelites in Uganda. And then I was asking, now which tribe do you do you belong to? Because, you know, I had memorized all of them, actually. from I had mentioned the 12 of them, that is Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah. Dan, Naphtali, Asher, Gad, and then uh, Issachar, and then Zebulun, Naphtali, and then Dan, uh, that is uh, that is uh, Joseph and Benjamin. So you come in my figure 12, I love dinner. So like Mulisa now among the 12, which tribe do you belong? Akasema currently they don't know because Walikawanyika, Wakachita, Wakatkawanyana, and Bakasasa, they don't know which tribe they belong to. They only know they are all Jewish. That's now we call all of them Jewish nowadays. So the first coming was because of the, they rejected. So they needed to know that the Messiah whom they killed, Jesus Christ whom they killed, is the Messiah who had been promised in the Old Testament. And that is why he had to really make sure he reminds them that this is the Messiah who, who, who was to come. And, and they rejected, you know. So that is the purpose of, of the book of, of, of Matthew. So when you come to Matthew, you talk of the king and his kingdom. So if you are able to read from uh, chapter 1 to chapter 4, verse 28, okay, I always tell if I'm to, to tell people, you, you just know Matthew has 28 chapters. Na ye inakusaidia because mwanzo anasaliwa hapo katikati anafanya miuchisa muisho muisho towards the end, like 27, 28, 26 huko. Ne male ana anasulubiwa. So hata kama unatafuta verse, unachua tu ni wapi una, unaesa pata. Kama ni ketsemane, unajua ni towards 26, huko tukienda huko mbele. So, the coming of the king is chapter 1 to chapter 4, to 20, chapter 4 verse 25, 25. And then the principles of the kingdom, you get it from chapter 5, verses 1 to 7 to 29. And then the signs of the kingdom, chapter 8, verse 1, to chapter 9, verse uh, 38. And then the rejection of the king and the kingdom, Ukisoma Sasa 10, verse 1 to 13, 57. So that is the king and his kingdom. So the other one is um, the ministry of the rejected king, You chapter 12, verse 53 to 23 to 39. And then are the prophecies of the king. 
you remember here 24 while kati waliendea wanafunzi waliwaendea privately wakiuliza hii vitu zitafanyika lini he wewe unatueleza hii mambo inaweza fanyika siku gani and then now you can see now 26 kwenda mbele unapata crucifixion of the king and the victory of the king so if you are able to get the flow inakusaidia when you are looking for a fast because in to saidia maybe when you are used to kukul i used to know so many faces but kukul saje meanza kutusumbua na kuharibu what we used to know but now it is for you to know it's good for you to know the flow of of the of the book of matthew it's like when you knew a lot of maths and then now you start using a calculator so you tend to forget what you used to do so this is a, an outline of matthew so if you come to the sermon on the mount that is in Matthew chapter 5 i think um someone can read for us this one who can read for us anyone you said Matthew yes, someone okay someone to go Uh, Jen, Someone, Sama? Jen, Jen, continue. No, no, I was confirming where it is, actually. Come on, umefungua Soma, please. Ah, ah. Nilikuwa nataka usome nyeko kwa screen. Oh, okay. See on the screen. I want the screen. Hi, I want to talk. On the mount. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 to 7. And verse twenty-seven, five to three, the kingdom citizens. Do I read everything? Yes. Yeah, Matthew chapter five, verse three talks about the kingdom citizen and their character. I think so. Uh, Matthew five seventeen to five forty-eight talks about kingdom laws, and uh, which is and. Uh, verse 13 speaks of their influence and uh, the law which is fulfilled or fulfillment of the law chapter 5 verses 21 speak of the old and the new uh, chapter 6 verse 1 speaks about the kingdom attitudes and deeds which is worship giving praying and fasting and 16 verse 19 speaks of walking Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 and 7 to 27 speak of concluding exhortation which is citizenship tested. Yeah, thank you Wellington. Thank you so much for for that. And then uh why we are not reading the verses, you know, like reading chapter 5 as 3 to chapter 7 to 27. Uh I want to congratulate also uh Christine because we there's a time we joined the marathon and the marathon is coming on 22nd of November so just mark in your calendar that we are going to read the bible from genesis to revelation from that is on on 20, we are starting on 23rd 22nd of November and we will read it within 5 days just you will join and you will know how we do that Every, each one reads one chapter each one reads one chapter when you are tired you sleep the other people continue ukiamuka unaendelea And, and we will is finish within yes is it possible in five days yes we've done it before <laughs> we've done it before so we will finish it within five days and and, and it is something which is done nationwide now i will share with i will share the link with you people So you just join when you know you have the time to read and they will allocate two chapters to read. And basically you read in any language you want to read in any language. Unataka kusoma Kipokomo, unataka kusoma Kiluya, Kichaluo, Yote Greek. There's even a time I read in Hebrew and there's another one I read in 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 in, in Greek. So that is a marathon. We call it a marathon. So I will share the link it is on 22nd of November. So I want to welcome you so that it will ease our our readings. So that we we don't read a lot because basically you're supposed to be having your own personal reading of the Bible. As we talk of the synoptic gospels by now, you must have read uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, 
and if you find maybe it's hard to read, you can listen to the audio. There's an audio I will share. It takes two hours of of uh, a preaching on 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 the book of Mark. So before we come to Mark, you will have listened to that audio, and it takes two hours. And you know what? Well, you can even listen when you're on the road. And, and you just listen, it takes two hours. And you just mark the words un, un immediately. Uh, so that is the book of Mark. So this one is like the division of the sermon on the mountain. So if you want to concentrate and you want to do topical uh, sermons, like we were told last time, so these are where you can get the topical sermons. Or if you are doing textual, I know Christine uses textual sermons. So this is also when you can go to the textual. Now from the kingdom citizens, you come down to to fifty five thirteen like that, because uh, I know we 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 don't we don't use the same mode of of preaching, yeah. So this is like what what Jesus taught on the what she was what he was teaching in the in the mountain. So this one I can't explain much because I know when when we deal with the scatology. You are able to understand this, the first coming, the second coming, and, and uh, this more of eschatology, yeah? And then you remember when he, the preparation, and then the public ministry of Christ, and then the sacrifice, and then he went to heaven. So I know we will handle this one very well in, in, in eschatology. And then we want to analyze like chapter 13. So who can read what we are seeing on the screen? Analysis of Matthew 13. Yes. One is uh, the sour three to nine to nine, the age begins. Yes. 24 to 30, false believers. Mustard seed, that one, that two, false growth. Leaves, that three, false doctrine. Treasure, 44, Israel. Pal, 45, 46, church. Dragnet 4750, Gentle Nations. Yeah, thank you, Chen. We, we know chapter 13 is the parable of the sour. So uh, then uh, if, if, if you read like the age begins, that is uh, three to nine, you talk of the false believers. Then you remember like they were saying, the, they were saying like, you remember one time the, they were saying like, we want to, 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 to pull out these tears, you know, because they are they are they are destroying the good the good uh, seeds. But now Jesus told them, no, just wait until the hen, so that when we when we harvest. So this was like, for example, like the mustard seed. That is false growth. The leaven bread, you remember, like the false doctrine of the Pharisees. The treasure it refers to Israel. The pearl is the church. And then the drug net is the Gentile nation. So this is like analysis of, of, of chapter 13, but we are continuing to analyze that um, you can see like the Satan's opposition because the parable of the sour you are able to see in the individual that the devil snatches the seed. And then the point of attack is the seed. And Satan has been following up that seed all through from Genesis. If you follow from Genesis coming all the way, he has been attacking the seed. And then in the in the wall, you are able to see like plants counterfeit seeds. And a, and a plant a counterfeit maybe gospel. So that's like the individual, the point of attack, and then in the in the wall. So in 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 number two, you are able to see stuffs the plant that it cannot grow. Because now is the Satan is attacking the growth. Because now in the wall allows plants to grow out of measure. That is the mustard seed. And then the other one is smoothers smooths the smoothers the the fruit like it becomes unfruitful you go to sour like in each other so the point of attack is now the fruit 
because it injects false doctrines. Now it becomes leaven. So that is like certain supposition in, in, in that uh, when we are analyzing chapter 13 of Matthew. So when we go to chapter verses 23, you are able to see now commitment to Christ. So the problem we are able to see in verse 23, the solution is in verse 24, and then the reason is 25 and 26. So just as an analysis of chapter 13 of Matthew. So there are these 23, you remember the one um, Jesus Christ talked of this, uh, like who to you, the teachers of the Pharisees. So there are like about seven of them, which Jesus mentioned. Who can read for us, please? Anyone? Okay, I'll read. The okay, seven news, seven news uh, in Matthew chapter 23 says, the first one stand in the way of spiritual benefits. That is verse 13. Uh, number two, lead the way to first health. One, that is verse 15. Stand in the way of spiritual benefits. That's the 13. Number three, Blind leadership, verses 16. Number four, emphasize the unimportant, left out the important, that is verses 23 and 24. Number five, emphasize cleanliness of externals as opposed to internals, that is verse 25. Number six, a leadership that is dead, that is verse 27. Number seven, claim to follow prophets yet rejects what prophets taught. That is verses 29 to 33. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Christine. Somebody was reading also along with Christine, but maybe you will read the next one. But these are like the seven who's which Jesus mentioned, that um, there are those people who stand on the way. You remember like they were standing on the way. They don't want other people to enter. Them, they also don't want to enter. So you look at So, Janet, you will read the next one. So, you will discover that uh, Jesus said they are standing on the door. They don't want other people to join. Then they don't want to join. Or they win them to, to like, they win them to the synagogue. And then instead of, like, now leading them to heaven, they make them, they lead them to hell. And then they are also blind, blind leaders, you know. They are blind and they are leading. You know, you are leading and you are you are blind. And then they emphasize what is not important, you know. And then what is important now, they don't want to emphasize like the Messiah. They don't want to emphasize the Messiah. Like when Jesus was saying, because they were, that's not what that was that was not important according to them. And then now you remember like last month now in Mikono, you remember like in John chapter two, if you saw, if you read John chapter two, it says out there, there were six water pots of, of stone, which was used for cleansing. So I think they used to have water there. They have water there where you have to wash your feet before maybe you enter. So they were, they were basically emphasizing the how toward cleanliness as opposed to the internal cleanliness which is supposed to believe in Christ Jesus. And then they had a leadership which was dead. And then now, usually they always claim, they, you know, since in Wale wa 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 Musa, Wale wa, Abraham is our father. And that's why Jesus was telling them that if Abraham was your father, then you could have believed in me. So, because your father, you believe in your father, the devil. And the goodness of Jesus, he used to tell them point blank, I go and Peter Kando, I even remember when I was reading recently that go and tell that fox because what he was was bringing forward, the character was more of a, a, a fox. So maybe we'll have Janet. Janet, you can read this one. 
Janet. Janet Mudami. And mute and read, Janet. So, so this is when we, we were saying like chapter 24, if, if you want to learn about the scatology. Yeah, Peter. Yes, I can read. I read. Matthew chapter 24 deals with three questions. Number one, when will the temple be destroyed? Number two, what will be the signs of your coming? Number three, what will be the signs of the end of the age? Yes. So thank you, Peter. So chapter 24, if you want to learn a lot of eschatology, you read chapter 24. Where now the, the, the disciples went to meet Jesus privately and they were asking him these three questions. And, and, and when was the temple destroyed? And you know, when they destroyed the temple, now them, they were expecting Christ Jesus to come back the following day. And that is why they could sell. I remember when we do, Colos when we do Corinthians, you will know why they were, they were like, you remember Paul was writing for them the first letter. And then he wrote again the second letter to Corinthians. So if he wrote the first one and he was telling them now, please get to collection so that we take to Jerusalem. Because the Jerusalem people sold their lands expecting Jesus to come the following day. So now, because that's the time they were asking now, what will be the signs of your coming? Can you tell us? So when Jesus was talking of the destruction of the temple, and when, now when the temple was destroyed, wakachua kwisha dunia imeisha. So wakausa shamba, ndo ika create a lot of, a lot of uh, drought in, 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 in Jerusalem. And that's why the other churches like uh, Philippians, uh, Corinthians, Colossians, they were now getting some money to support the Jerusalem church. Not that they were very poor, but because they sold everything expecting Jesus to come the following, soon after the temple was destroyed in AD 70. So these are the questions which is mentioned in uh, chapter, I'm just going an overview of Matthew. So Jesus mentioned of this, is coming, he was talking of the abomination of the desolation. Wakati wana answer ku sacrifice mpaka the pigs. And then wana sacrifice mpaka humans. And then there will be the great tribulation. And then signs in heaven. In heavens. So this is, I'm very sure we will have an, uh, a topic on eschatology. And, and Clinton will teach us on that. I, I don't know much of eschatology because I did not do eschatology. So this one's. Which will, which will it will be handled, but these were like the signs which Jesus told them. Abomination of the desolation, if you read in 24, 15, 20, and then verses 21 to 28, you talk of the great tribulation and then the signs in heavens, like Ile Nyeiko Kwa Revelation, but now here are 29 to 31. So this is the Holy Faith discourse, which I was telling you, We'll still handle it in 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 uh, in Revelation. Okay, me personally, I believe in uh, pre-tribulation. I don't know your belief, but according to me, my belief is I've suffered enough in this world. I've put bread at maybe 100 shillings. I've put unga at 300 shillings. I toil a lot. So personally, I've suffered enough. I'm only waiting for Christ Jesus to come. I go to heaven. Now, we still have people, okay, like for example, a word, a word is, is believe in meat tribulation. He's, he's saying that the church will go through the middle of tribulation. So it will depend now on your belief as a Christian. Which one do you believe? Otherwise, uh, a majority of us, we believe that um, we are now waiting for that rapture because now you, you can see that tribulation, the second fall of Jerusalem, and then the first fall of Jerusalem, that was the first tribulation, which was in AD 70. And then, so you will discover like, for, for Jews to understand the Bible was so hard, because according to them, when Jesus prophesied and told them that there will be tribulation, so they saw that AD 70, the 
the fall of the Jerusalem temple was the first tribulation. But again, now there will be another second tribulation which is yet to come. And that we will now talk of the second coming of Christ after the tribulation. But now the Christians will be raptured. So bear me with those ones because it will be handled under eschatology. Yeah? So spare those questions, then we will handle it under eschatology. I will request Clinton to give us that topic of eschatology so that we, we learn more about the rapture. Why do people say mid-tribulation? There are those who talk of post-tribulation, mid-tribulation. Okay, there's what we use in medicine, pre-tribulation, peri-tribulation, or mid-tribulation, and post-tribulation. So to Konawatu Awa, three groups. So you just have to, to just know we have three groups. Then uh, technological progression of the Olivet discourse, pardon is the same. But now we chapters 24, back at 25, you are able to see how it is moving. Yeah, back at the Christ coming, the main event in in chapter 24, verse 30. And then we have the geography of Jesus post the resurrection days. After he resurrected, there was that vicinity of Jerusalem for about one week. But here we are talking of, you know, Jesus is 100% God, 100% human. Na usi ni ulisa wakatikanu ulikuwa unajua yeye ni mwanadamu na wakatikanu unajua yeye ni mungu. That question we really tackled and it's not easy to tell. But now here we are talking of when he was, he, he rose, when he rose and he was seen in human form. So he was seen in human form for 40 days. And then there was that vicinity of Jerusalem for one week in Matthew 28, verse 1 to 15. And then in Galilee for an, about again one month. If you read in Matthew, if you continue 16 to 20, and then again Acts chapter 1 to 9. And then again in Jerusalem, the last few days. And then now I can ascend and Binguni after resurrection. So that is like the days we, we were seen in the human form, including Cleophas. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. it was Jesus that time. So this is what we could say the post resurrection days of, of Jesus Christ. So next we will do the Gospel of Mark. And uh, I will really hurt you people to watch the videos which I shared. But now I'm also adding another homework here, uh, the two hours of the video which I will I will share. It's a preaching for, for two hours only of the Gospel of Mark. So which we will handle Mark next time. You can come up with questions. Even Matthew, you can come up with questions which, which where you have not understood. But I promise I will request uh, Clinton to give us more on eschatology, yeah? Because end times, that one is handled under eschatology. So I don't know whether we have questions because I want to stop there. Do we have any questions? Just unmute and, and ask your question, or you can put in the chat box. Do we have any questions? Yeah, Not really a question, but uh, I, I like the analogy, the, the way you are uh, giving this kind of uh, lecture. Yes. It's very simple. Uh, but um, I think this one you talked about post-tribulation, and I, I don't understand it. This one here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what I talk of... Uh... That is the Holy Faith discourse. Like, you know, in Revelation, you remember like Revelation, you remember Lawanza saying the trumpet, the horse, yes. those locusts. So we have the Great Tribulation, which is coming, yeah? Is it the so one that, that we said 1,000 years? So uh, in, in the three, we have three school of thoughts. Yes that uh, some say the church will be raptured 
before the tribulation. Some say the church will go through the tribulation midway, and then some say the church will go through the whole tribulation. So this tribulation, that's why we are talking of pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, and post-tribulation. Post is after, pre is before. So like me personally, I believe in that of pre-tribulation where the church is raptured before the tribulation. That is my point of view. So, but I know we will do it in eschatology. This one we will tackle it well in, in eschatology. Okay. Thank you. Let me see in the chat box. Somebody has written something in the chat box. Ngawa, iyo, iyo, iyo ya chen muto ata oktu onge se understanding kwa kru plus my kue. So, Peter is, uh, yeah, good work. To a good overview. Okay. So, can someone maybe add what, uh -huh. yeah, Benson, you are back, Karibu sana. So, can somebody add something on, on this tribulation? He rupture a tribulation. Who can add something? Yeah, I wish to understand Kabisa. Yeah, Peter, Missouri. Clinton? Yes. Yeah, talk talk about tribulation, the mid-tribulation, pre-tribulation, post-tribulation. Jen is asking a question. Uh, today I'm passive in class because I'm uh, I'm in active class where I am. Like in the bishop, so, eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, lakini not this year. Aina shida ata next year. class at choki. Wewe sikia mtu amechoka? Eh, zinimeona Benson amechoka. Benson Mwem. Na Wellington. Eh. Ah, Wellington alikuwa kwanza. My theology on eschatology and rapture is quite different from many scholars. Uh, I, I, I'm a critical thinker on some uh, on some biblical theories and um, some theological theories as well but allow me to uh, to preserve that uh, for the time we'll be in class so that uh, at that particular point I can have inference over the same thank you bishop now we are finishing the class maybe let me see what is in the chat box <laughs> Benson, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm Well, uh, I am attending the class from East School of Theology. Yes. Where I'm having bishops and reverends. Yes. And we are going through uh, uh, English, English, English literature writing their first years. So we are going through research writing and English writing. So I didn't attend the class most part because the students are up, on, up at me and uh, asking several questions. But I saw that time is almost out. And so that made me to rush fast to come and say, Barakio um, Sana. And uh, on Thursday, I don't know, I will still be here. I'm here at East throughout the week to Saturday. So I'm not so sure about Thursday, but we shall we shall we shall converse that time when it comes. Or we shall communicate that time when it comes. Thank you, thank you, Bishop. So make sure you prepare for us eschatology, because I've I've told the class that I'm not very conversant with eschatology. So you will prepare for us eschatology, and you greet the pastors and bishops and tell them. To write fabs, fabol, fabols, and the rest. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the I'm in the, the class, I'm, way. I'm in the class not as a. Uh, I'm in the class as a as a mentor, as a coach uh, to that. Yes. Yes. Fact. And so, uh, I'll be speaking to them that they need to be very careful with verbs. Yes. And adjectives. Yes. Yeah. So thank you guys.
for the class i see the class mkikuwa na class na daktar kipchilis yani naishanga mapema by 10 so msikuwe mnachelewa because yeye huwa anaanza class uh, 4 kamili na namaliza a quarter to to the time so that you can have time to ask questions so thank you bishop so maybe we can uh, have a closure of the class because i want to appreciate you people so thursday bishop will confirm for us if we will have a class and then um if we will not then he, so long as he sends the notes but anyway your class is not easy it's a very hard one <laughs> that one that one of of that day i can't manage to teach that one because i i don't want to teach things which i don't practice include na jen jen nasikia jen jen tutafunza na jen jen eh unaona je Ndio, wao wako 100%. Sisi we are we are limping. We <laughs> need healing. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Wacha wacha tuone how the class is going to be. I'm um, actually just to mention um that day is a bit a, a bit tough for me and uh, I just need your prayers. The same Thursday I'm having um I'm having um I'm having a discussion uh during the same time the class will be ha- happening and again i'm here uh, at east but i'm trusting god that all shall be well uh let us see how it happens but uh, we are calling on your prayers so that we make it happen sure mm-hmm. okay so you will you will use the whatsapp yeah to make a communication yeah so today i want to say that i will give uh, wellington a present because he was mm. the first one to join the class yes yeah ali joined mapema kabisa so in my Lakini class when you join na yeye wewe uli joina ukatoroka ukaandika 9 pm ali need na katok eh lakini mwana mwalimu kwa na pewa wangu asawadi hapa ni mwanafunza na pewa anyway tutaongea nitakuchia <laughs> nitakuchia uchi yangu tu hapo bado uchi iko mimi Uchi bado iko uchi fellowship. Hapa hapa ni cafeteria. Hapa we use cafeteria live. Na siniliwacha uchi ikikuwa bado iko. Niko kitengela. Ah, kumbe ni mbali si hapa. Hapa yuko kitengela. I mean wa kitengela. Sasa umfisit. Kuja kesho. Where is that? Is it where you have so many bishops? I have a friend there I think. Yes, muulize Clinton. Ah, Niko then, okay, Kitengela East KKG East University Kitengela. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's yeah. great. Inside the college, inside the university. Okay. Yeah, this is my home. If you are coming nearby, do you have cuckoos in your place? In, we call it Tingoho. <laughs> that do you asking Jane? Yes. Yeah, I, can, sure. I, I can make appointment of coming. Bisha butufungia kwa maombi ni stop the recording alafu watu wa chat. Tufungie kwa maombi. <laughs> let us close it then. Jesus, your word says in Timothy first <clears throat> Timothy 3 uh, 16 that God your word is the breath and Jesus um is meant for correction rebuking and Lord for teaching and tonight Jesus we are blessed that God you have uh, given us insights in your word you've opened our eyes to see lord jesus um you are your you you are logos your word oh god and today to tonight as we uh, think about your word as we meditate on your word in silence and even as we practice through solitude and lord as we contemplate on what we've learned tonight father we pray for your mercy and we pray for your grace to be upon us and we exalt you jesus because you are the lord i bless you because of those who have uh, taken time to be in this class and those who have been there to make facilitation father we bless you jesus even for the continuity of the class oh god i speak a blessing to um 
few of the members of this class, and I pray that God you increase in them as just your word says that poor, blessed are the poor in the heart, O oh God. Cause us to be more poor, Lord, for you and thirsty for you, O oh God. Developing a burden for you, and not just a, a burden to know your word, but just um, to live according to your word, O oh Lord. To live according to the teachings of your word. May us live in your ways, O oh King of glory just as you have spoken to us through the word. We give you praise and give you honor. In your name, Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you very Amen. much. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. 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 Why don't you stop the recording?